He's, he wants nothing to do with me. But I always admired how strongly built this moth is. It's a strong flying creature. Hey guys, David Fine from Keys Moths. I'm actually at my job right now and um, pretty cool thing. I'm gonna take you on a walk over here by my job. There's a school in the background, so there might be a little noise in the background, but forgive me on that. But there's a couple Sphinx moths on the wall and I wanna show them to you guys. Uh, South Florida, you always gotta be ready to enjoy our environment. So guys, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, like the video, and share it with your friends uh, because we've got plenty more to offer you. Guys, let's go on a walk in the hallway at my job and check out a few moths that we have here in uh, South Florida. Alright guys, so here's the deal. This is going to be a super quick one because I'm actually at work and I was on my lunch break and I actually saw two Sphinx moths sitting on the building just feet from each other. Sorry if there's background noise, there's a school there in the background. But guys, there is a Tursa Sphinx, Xylophanes Tursa, and a Morning Sphinx, uh, Enyo Lugubris. So what I'm going to do guys, I'm going to try to see if I can get each of these guys down and do a little little thing on them. Well, there goes the morning sphinx. He's gone. Oh, he landed. Look at that. That's a male. Male morning sphinx, Enyo lugubris. You can see the tufts on the abdomen. That's what shows he's a male. Guys, it's a really cool moth. They feed on grapes and Virginia creeper and cissus. Let's see if I can get them to crawl onto my hands here. Let's see. Oh, look at that. There he goes. And mournful sphinx. It's got a brown coloration. That's why they call them the morning sphinx, mournful sphinx, whatever you want to call them. It's got that tuft. That's what they sense the pheromones for the female with. That's a male. They've got this big old tuft on their thorax, which is pretty cool. But I've always admired how strongly built this moth is. It's a strong flying creature. Very common down in South Florida. Love this bug. And it was, it's a really cool thing to be able to see this guy while I'm at work. He's super friendly, look at him. A little mournful guy. So I am actually going to put him here off the path. All right, he's warming his jets here. He's getting ready to fly. Let's see, all right. He's so cool. All right, so I'm gonna let him chill. All right, so that was the mournful Sphinx. He took off and is now safe. Now I'm going to hone in on the Tursa Sphinx, guys. Let's see if the Tursa Sphinx will crawl. Whoa. Here's the Tursa Sphinx, Xylophanes Tursa. Another fighter jet, very powerful flyer. Oh, there he goes. Well, he's, he wants nothing to do with me. They're another very, very common moth, South Florida. They feed on pentas, most of the time when we see our caterpillars. And he's not happy. Where'd he go? Where'd he go? You flying here? All right, he just left, guys. I don't know where he went. So, that being said, that's all I got. Actually, guys, so this is the host plant for the penta, or pentas. It is not a native plant, it's an exotic, but it's very commonly um, sold as an ornamental. Butterflies love it for nectar, but it is the best way to find the larvae of the Tursa Sphinx. And we've got a big old hedge of it here. There's no doubt that this is where that guy came from. Uh, obviously it's not their native host plant, but it's the one that we find them on most commonly in South Florida. So, I mean, why wouldn't you want to eat that? And that's a beautiful plant. 
Okay, guys, so Tropical Sphinx Mods in South Florida. Super cool. So glad we got to show this to you. Got some good slow-mo footage of that morning Sphinx uh, flying away. Two common mods, but guys, just things that people don't typically see. So guys, we just wanted to show them to you. Um, enjoy them together. And we've got plenty more videos where this is coming from. Sorry, my mask is getting a little squirrely on me. But guys, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Share us with your friends. Uh, check out the website, keysmoths.com. We've got 700 species of butterflies and moths from the Florida Keys documented for there for you. Sorry if my voice is a little muffled. I'm speaking through this mask. Uh, guys, take care and uh, let's enjoy South Florida.